You mentioned that you were looking for your husband's killer. I am. It's... To be honest with you, it's not going great. Hello, has smell. Uh, tell me more. I run into all sorts of people, you know. <laughs> that you do. All right. It's a long story, though. Okay. You know, I was actually trying to find uh, combat tactics, you know, so I can just ask her to stick to the bow, like I could, with maybe a few of these uh, companions, like with him, Zelzaz. Okay, tell me. Very well. Where should I start? Well, tell me a bit about Gorb. Gorb. Right. <sighs> we married young. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Okay. Bunch of kids living and training together. <laughs> well, it's easy to get attached. <sighs> Honestly, I'm not sure if the marriage would have lasted. We were married for less than a year and already getting on each other's nerves. But we never got the chance to find out. Continue. We were on patrol that day. Gorb and I should have paid attention to our surroundings, but instead we were arguing the whole time. I mean, what kind of trouble would you expect in the heartland of Cyrodiil? What kind of trouble would you expect? I see. But I'm sure the two of you found the answer. Yeah, we did. One moment I was yelling at Gorb, the next something snuffed me out like a candle. Magic, I guess. Don't know what kind. Sounds guess like illusion. Answer. When I came to, I knew we were in deep done. We were in a riverside camp, surrounded by a dozen nasty-looking bandits. I had no weapons, and my right arm hurt like oblivion. Broken, I found out later. Don't know if one of them did it, or if I broke it falling off my horse. I wasn't even tied up. But Gorb was in the middle of the camp, tied up like a parcel. Then, this little Bosma comes up. This Bosma... Oh. You have to understand. He was a scrawny little rat. But his eyes, the way he smiled... I'd never seen anyone who scared me as much as he. He had a knife. I thought he wanted to slit Gorb's throat. Little then bastard. He said, I'm bastard. sure even an orc like you has heard of the Green Pact. Usually we don't eat our kills until they're dead. But I like to think outside the box. And then he grabbed Gorb's face. And started to cut. Uh, this is quite um, a conundrum because uh, it's not bad now, but maybe I could see why uh, Ori and Thor Thogra were not speaking to each other. You know, being part of the Green Pack. Now, maybe she didn't overhear our conversations and um, discover that, you know, Thogra didn't discover that. Uh, Ori was uh, part of the green pack because she does the same thing, eating the flesh of their enemy. As you can see here, usually we don't eat our kills until they're dead, but I like to think outside the box. This is one sick fuck, this Bosmer. But, um, well, so maybe it's best for the future not to have Ori and Thogra together. You know, they were giving each other the cold shoulder anyway, right? So I can see why. Uh, so please continue. This 
sounds like it's going to be bad. Up until then, I have kept quiet, trying to think of something I could do to get us out. Because there had to be something, right? There had to be some way I could fix this. It couldn't just end like this. But then Gorb started screaming, and I... I must have screamed, too. But somehow you escaped? Two things happened after I screamed. The scrawny Bosma smiled at me. Even now I sometimes see that smile in my nightmares. The other thing was... Gorb started yelling at me to run. Get out of here, Thogra, he shouted. You have to get out of here. That was the last thing my husband ever said to me. And I did it. I ran. The bandits tried to stop me, but I threw myself in the river. I swim like an Argonian. One good thing about growing up in Braville, I guess. I got away, even with a broken arm. Um, I really like the voice actress of Thogra, which I think is the mod author. She did a superb job. Um, just the way she speaks and um, you know the little, little nuances in her voice and uh, the kind of accent used is is quite quite good uh, I like it it's very subtle everything you know and you know who cuts off faces of people also is um, I believe the super villain is named Black Mask and he is a uh, a DC villain, DC villain, um, and if you've seen the Harley Quinn movie, uh, the, uh, the Emancipation of Harley Quinn, uh, it was Ewan McGregor who played Black Mask. Uh, Black Mask. Well, you didn't have a choice. You would have been next. I was a coward. Later, I tried to tell myself that both of us would have died if I stayed. And maybe that, that was true. Would have happened, but I was yes. still a coward. You live again to avenge, Gorb. <sighs> I'm... <clears throat> I'm sorry. Been a long time since I told anyone about this. Hmm. I can't... I mean, I can't. I'll finish I, the story I later. That. I need a break. And I need to get drunk. Later. I Let's find an inn so I can get mm -hmm. started. Oh, yeah. I'm about to go to an inn as well. 